Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. We had a question on one of our last hover videos and they, we did a slide up module and they asked how do you make a slide up image? Something like this. Well if you just want to do it from one image to another image it's really simple and I'll show you how in a moment. Now if you wanted to do it from a module to an image it's a little more complex and what you're looking at there isn't really a module it's actually two images and I'll show you how I did that there's a little more to it than doing it for the two images so let's do the image swap first let's enable the visual builder okay once the builder's loaded let's go down where we want to work and what we've got here that image that we're looking at there is the one that's residing in our column background and the one that slides up above it is just an image from an image module. So let's put our image module in first. I'm just going to go down and grab a regular image module. I'm going to make it kind of square shape, but that's entirely up to you. I guess I'll use the same image as I used before, this phone right there. Okay, so we've got our image in there. Let's just save that. Now let's go into our column. And the, the initial image that we see, remember, is re residing in our column. We're working on column two here. We go down to background. You've got color, gradient, image, and video. So I'm going to put an image in there. And let's use the same one as I used before. There we go. Okay, and of course you can't see it because this image is on top. Okay, well let's make this how we want it. I want it to be 400 pixels tall. And I don't want to see anything spilling out over the bottom there. So if we go to our advanced, we go to our custom CSS and give it a fixed height. I'm going to give it 400 pixels, which should be the same as the one next door. And we've got a bunch of stuff overflowing here. So let's try and get rid of that. And I'll put this little line of code underneath the video if anybody wants to watch it. So we can close up our custom CSS. Let's go down to visibility. And for both horizontal and vertical overflow, we're going to change it to hidden. And as you can see, it's jumped down to 400 pics, which is the size that we want there. There we go. Fantastic. Great. So that's our row taken care of. Now this image that's sitting on top of it, the cell phone here, we don't want to see this at all until we hover over it. And when we hover over it, we want it to just slide up. And it's pretty easy to do. Let's go into our module. We'll go to our design. We'll go down to spacing. And we know this is 400 pixels high because that's the height that we gave this column. So if we give it 400 pixels on the top, that's going to push this image down to the bottom of the column there. And because we've got overflow hidden, you won't see it when it overflows there. So let's try that. We'll give it 400. There we go. And we just see our sort of city picture there. Now when we hover over it, we want that image to slide back up to the top. So common to most Divi modules here, if you hover over the dark legend legending in any module, it'll pop up these icons for you. If there's an arrow there, just click on it and it lets you set a hover uh, desktop state, which is when your mouse is not on it. We'll leave that at 400 and a hover state when your mouse is on it. So for that, we don't want any padding. We want that image to be right there. So when we hover, it's going to be there. When we don't hover, it's going to be out of the picture, so to speak. Great. And the default time that Divi takes to do this for us is 300 milliseconds, which is pretty quick, just under a third of a second. I like to slow it down a bit for drama, but this is entirely up to you. If you want to slow it down or speed it up, go to your advanced tab, go to transitions. Here's the transition duration time, 300 mils. That's the default. I'm going to take mine up to about three quarters of a second, something like that. You can slide, you can type in your value, and you can fine tune with these little arrows at the side there. Don't want any delay. I want it to happen as soon as anybody puts their mouse over it there. And the speed curve I like to use for these effects is ease in, ease out. All of these do a slightly different thing. Try them out in different situations. Some are going to work better than others. But for my horror effects, I find that ease in, ease out works wonderfully. OK, well, let's save this. Now, if we save our page changes now, 
save draft or publish if you're ready and exit the visual builder here we have it there's our image and there's another slide up image on hover really simple to do okay for the other example here now this is not quite so straightforward what you are actually looking at there is the same as we've got here but we've got to make a little work around and the way to do this let's enable the visual builder put in the module that you want to over here and I think I just used a blurb for this one and I left the content as standard I just put an icon in there hit the use icon button there we go and let's align everything to the middle go to our content we'll give it a background color it doesn't matter what I think I used this bright pink last time now let's give it some padding so it's the height that we want it to be at least it doesn't matter if it's a little bit bigger Let's go over to our design. I'm going to make that text white also. So I'm just going to go into the text. Make it light so it stands out. Let's give it some padding. Go into spacing. I'll give it 50 all around and a bit extra on the bottom. So I'm going to give it 50 and 50 and 50. And I'm going to link the chain on the left and right because that's fine. But I want it a little extra on the bottom. So let's try. 80. That's not going to do it. Let's try about 110. And you can fine tune with these little arrows right there. Now, when it's the size that you want it, I want to make that uh, title a bit bigger and I want to make our icon white. So, again, in the design, right up the top is the icon. Simply make that white. If we roll down we can style the title text separately I'm just going to bring that up in size a bit and obviously you do yours however you want to do it and then I'm going to make it semi bold I'll go back to my spacing because I got slightly too much there not that, that matters because when we use it in a moment it's going to hide anything that we've got left over there. So this is optional if you want to go back into your spacing and make it exactly the same height. Let's take some of that away. Let's, say, let's try 80, 90. It's close enough. Okay, now here comes the tricky part. What we're going to do now is I'm going to simply take a, a screenshot and on a PC that's shift and print screen I'm pretty sure it's similar on a Mac um, and once you've got it I simply put mine into Photoshop and cropped it like this now not everybody has Photoshop there's plenty of free graphics programs out there like GIMP I believe does the same things or even paint you can probably do this with and I've saved that image now the only drawback with doing it this way we can delete this module now is the fact that you're using an image instead of text so SEO is not going to pick up on this text here like it would normally now for a slight workaround I don't know an SEO expert might disagree with me well I'm not sure because I'm not an SEO expert if you go into the properties of your image you can actually add in your details you can put your title in there you can put your description everything you want in there and any tags that are pertinent to it that's going to help you a bit I'm sure so we've got an image now we're going to do exactly the same as we did up above here so let's go into our row and put a background image in column 2 we're working on now background image and we'll use that same picture I guess You can't see it because our column's got no height at the moment. But if we go to our advanced tab just exactly as we did before, back into our column, 
to our advanced tab we're going to give it the same height and we're going to do exactly the same we're going to go to our visibility and turn off the overflow overflow hidden and hidden great so now let's save that save the row changes We'll add an image module to here and we'll add the image that we created with our screenshot which I've already got up here there we go and as you can see it's added it over the top there now if we go to our design and do exactly what we did before we're going to give it 400 pixels padding at the top as you can see, that's revealed the other image. Set the hover state when we hover on it. I want it to be zero. And the time I want it to take is about three quarters of a second. So advanced transitions, whatever transition speed you happen to want. No delay, ease in, ease out. And we should be good to go. So let's just save our changes. And there we go and I've just realized I've done this completely the wrong way around <laughs> so let's quickly go back in there and all we need to do is swap out the images we'll go into the image and we'll put the city one in there it's great we'll go back into our row column 2 background and we'll put our screenshot image in there now let's save and we should have it the right way around so there we go there's our top one just a simple image swap and the bottom one which is a simple image swap but gives the effect of being a module to image and of course you can link that background module to anything you want and you can link the foreground module if you want to take them to somewhere. So I hope that's answered your question. That is how to do the slide up image overlay. So I hope you found that useful today and enjoyed it. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.